What is an SP? A suppressive person, somebody who's opposed to the Church of Scientology. Is it the teachings of the Church of Scientology that a member disconnect from an SP? If, if you are a PTS, potential trouble source, that means you're connected to a suppressive person and you must disconnect from the suppressive person in order to continue in Scientology. Is a non-believer in Scientology a suppressive person? Well, y yes, and, yes and no. See, it, it depends if you're actually attacking Scientology or not. For instance, if I didn't believe in Scientology but I kept my mouth shut, they probably wouldn't be concerned about me being a suppressive person. But when I go out and start speaking against them, I am certainly a suppressive person. Have you ever had an opportunity to listen to any tapes prepared by the Church of Scientology? Uh, yes, they have quite a few tapes that they, uh, they put out. Have you ever had an opportunity to listen to a tape show you, see if you recognize this particular tape? This is a tape called, Can We Ever Be Friends? And I bought this tape for my parents. My parents were objecting to my involvement in Scientology because I had suggested to my parents that I was thinking of dropping out of school and my parents were very upset about that. So they declared me a PTS, potential trouble source. And they said that this tape could handle my PTS condition. If I give this tape to my parents, I'll be able to calm them down and my PTS condition would go away. Does this tape discuss the benefits of public education? It, this tape basically explains to my parents that you can't blame me for wanting to drop out of school. It basically it paints a picture of public education as being a harmful thing and therefore you have no right to object to my wanting to abandon school. Is this, do you know where that part is on that tape? I believe it's queued up. I mean we can check and see. It should be queued up. <coughs> and you've had an opportunity to re listen to this tape? Yes I have. A casual tour of some modern schools or universities can make the observer wonder why any decent child or person would consent to stay in one today. Teachers and security guards beaten and killed. Students glaze-eyed with drugs draped across doorways and desks. It can be a desperate arena. And the subjects taught are often not subjects anymore but confusions. Reading, writing, and arithmetic seem to have become perplexity, illiteracy, and mystification. In the war mad days of 19th century Germany, the psychologists spawned the technology of degrading all men to animals. He is in charge of your schools today. It is compulsory training in every grade and teacher level to regard all students and friends as treacherous beasts and atheists. Where the older generation did not stem this rape of education, should they criticize members of the younger generations who draw aside from the beast to attack it in the flank and try to civilize the monster they're better supported and helped create? The schools the taxes pay for today are not the schools the older generation has such fond memories of. Bust and beaten and dismayed, going nowhere, learning nothing at vast parental expense. One need not be very questioning as to why a student would bolt his school and go to people who can teach and who are making inroads with school reform. One can hide and pretend and say, without any inspection of evidence, that Scientology is not doing anything about it. The facts, statistics and rooms full of documents prove that Scientology is doing something about it. That's the end of that side of the tape. Thank you. Did you yourself believe that public education as described was was not appropriate for you after being enrolled in Scientology? Yes. Were you allowed to have contact with your parents as a member? Uh, the contact became more and more controlled to the point where 
every time I called my parents, there would be a Scientologist sitting next to me, coaching me and listening to the conversation and coaching me on what to say. Why would they do that, if you know? The, well, I believe they were afraid that if I spoke to my parents, my parents might convince me to leave Scientology. That if I was allowed to freely communicate with them, that's what would happen. When did you eventually leave Scientology? My parents arranged uh, a when or how? When? When. Uh, in April of 1990. How? My parents arranged what is called an exit counseling, in which former members of the group, former Scientologists, who are also psychologists and cult experts, sat me down and spoke to me and showed me information about Scientology and tried to get me to think about things in a way that I hadn't, wasn't allowed to think about them before. Uh, that process failed, and I left the exit counseling and went back to the church, and when I got back there, uh, the cult leaders decided to kick me out and they sent me home. Was it expected by the members of the Church of Scientology that you would contribute financially? Uh, yes, the courses and the books you have to buy are very expensive. Is there a ladder that you go? They call it, they call it the bridge to total freedom. And the idea is, is you pay money for courses, and with each course you go up a level until you reach the highest level. And what's the highest level? It's called OT8. And what is OT8? Well, the letters OT stand for operating Thetan, which is part of the, the language of Scientology. A Thetan is, is a spirit. Basically, they believe that I am, a, I am not a person, I am a spirit, I am a soul. And they use the word Thetan. Operating Thetan means a spirit who is control, in control of all their spiritual abilities. So they have eight OT levels, and in the highest OT level, OT8, they tell you that you will gain truth revealed. In other words, you will learn the entire truth about the entire universe. See, as you go up the OT bridge, you, you gain certain abilities, such as ESP, you, the ability to leave your body at will, the ability to, uh, to uh, move objects with your mind. These are all the supernatural abilities that they tell you you're going to get. And it, you keep getting more and more of these abilities until OT8, when you will remember all your past lives and you will remember the beginning of man of of time and you will have a total understanding of the entire universe.